Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I have game 60 of the regular season, which is against the Florida Panthers. And it's another relatively high scoring game, and it goes on for a while. Let's, uh, let's just say that. Uh, so not a bad game for you guys today. And there's just a few uh, bits of NHL news I wanted to talk about. And then I'm going to go back to talking about uh, why I set up the channel. Um, something which I spoke about briefly in another video before I got distracted by who I watch on YouTube. Uh, which I will do another video of eventually. So uh, Sean Couturier has signed a new two-year deal with the Flyers. Uh, average annual value of 1.75 mil. Uh, it's been labelled on Yahoo, I saw it as a bridge contract, I think that's pretty much spot on. Uh, he had a very good rookie season, uh, sophomore year, uh, not not so good. Um, so they'll be looking for a bounce back year this season coming, and then that two year contract will kick in after the end of the coming season. In terms of what uh, Philly will be expecting from Couturier, I'm guessing it's going to be what he delivered in his first season. Um, good plus minus, uh, chipping in offensively, maybe say 35, 40 points, uh, playing good uh, defensive hockey, and just generally be being like a shutdown line. I always think of him kind of as a as a Jordan Stall kind of uh, figure for the Flyers. I remember when uh, when the Penguins went to the Cup and we had Tyler Kennedy, Matt Cook, and Jordan Stall on the line. It was it was used against uh, top lines. It was used against everyone really. Um, and it was really effective, and I think that's what they could look for Couturier to change into. He's a big body, good at face-offs. Uh, I've always thought he was quite similar to Jordan Stall, although Jordan Stall, I think, has a better offensive out, um, upside to him. Uh, not to say that Couturier won't get better offensively. Um, I just think that in terms of where they were, or where Jordan Stall was uh, at Couturier's age, I think he had a, a bigger offensive upside than what Couturier has now. But you never know, he could turn out to, uh, to start banging in the goals eventually. But for now, I think um, it's a good contract for the Flyers. Uh, you know, they need to be wary of the salary cap um, just in case it doesn't go up too much at the end of next season. So yeah, yeah, uh, a, good, a good contract uh, for Couturier and the Flyers then. One final thing on the NHL. Uh, I had a look at the unsigned unrestricted free agents and there's a few there which uh, which surprised me actually you know we've still got Mason Raymond out there we've still got uh, Nathan Kirby, uh, Brendan Borrow, uh, Peter Mueller, uh, Mikhail Grabowski, Ron Hainsey uh, I was, I'm, I'm just wondering whether because of the salary cap being what it is this year that will all these, I'm guessing all these guys will get a team uh, Yarmou Yaga as well I've uh, been spoken about in talks with the Devils possibly but it, it's an interesting one. Um, obviously, not every free agent gets signed quickly, but teams must now be evaluating um, themselves, looking at their prospects. You know, uh, I know the Penguins had their development camp this week, and we saw some good performances by the likes of Oli Mata, a couple of the forwards as well, um, young forwards who seem to be looking like they're going to be challenging for uh, bottom six time. But it, it is a bit odd that someone like, for example, Mason Raymond is still available. Um, I don't know what kind of salary he would fetch. I'm guessing his agent is asking too much at the moment, I'm presuming. Or he has a lot of offers on the table of about the same money. So it'll be interesting to see where those guys go. And uh, if there are a bunch of uh, free agent signings at any one time, or within the space of a few days, I will do a video about them. Uh, I would imagine. Because uh, it's... This kind of time of the year, you know, the NHL, there's not much going on. Uh, we've had a bit of news recently and stuff like that, about the Olympics and whatnot. And I think in the next video, I will um, talk about who I think will make Team Canada. Um, I know lots of people online have been doing that, um, saying who they reckon will, will make the roster. And I know it's way too early to really be discussing it, but I think it's good to say, uh, come the time when they actually have to release the, uh, the roster, I can look back at this uh, the video and um, see what my predictions were. So as I said at the start of the video, I was going to use part of this video to continue on a previous video uh, where I spoke about why I started YouTube and uh, my aims really. 
Um, as I said previously, I had, I had a bit of free time on my hand. I uh, had some of the equipment ready. And I thought, you know, why not? Why not? Let's, uh, let's start up a channel. Let's talk about some sports. And, yeah, th that was really why I wanted to do it. It wasn't to, uh, to become a, a big YouTuber. I know that's virtually impossible. Um, but I, w I wanted to, uh, to have a bit of fun, basically, and be able to uh, share my views on hockey and football uh, with people outside of my friends, basically. Uh, so people watching this can comment and show me their views on it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be one of those channels who, uh, <laughs> who you see going on to uh, other channels and saying, uh, sorry to spam, but come visit my channel, I do daily videos, I do this, I do that. I know that's really annoying and I, I promise you right now I will not do that. I would rather stay having one subscriber than do that because I know how much it annoys me reading through the comments and, and you see that. Um, I know it happens mainly on the uh, the bigger channels. I remember watching a couple of Captain Sparkles' videos and uh, if I had the the uh, was it automatic comment updater thing on and basically every 10 comments was hey sorry guys I know you all hate these kind of posts but come check out my channel it's really good I, I want to make it on YouTube Look, I understand these uh, they're kids basically the ones who are, who are doing stuff like this <laughs> I've clicked on a few of them and the uh, the commentary sounds interesting let's say I know mine's not great but um, I do have a bit of experience behind me um, so I will be hopefully continuing this for a while um, I will have to take a break at some point because I'm going on holiday uh, so I probably won't be uploading during that period of time as I will be in a foreign country uh, and then when I come back from holiday I will be uh, moving house so that will also be a, a little bit of inconvenience in terms of getting internet uh, reset up and everything like that and just basically sorting everything out after the move so I will try and make a video at the time uh, to update about that and just what you can expect so I think I mentioned this in a previous video but I have now recorded all the footage uh, for the Real Deal James Neal series for the regular season and I've looked at it all and it seems to have all come out fine so I've kind of calculated that there will be 10 to 12 more episodes. And I should be able to get all those in before I go away on holiday. So I'm going to try my utmost to keep doing at least one a day. Uh, for the shorter ones, which are just like the, uh, the Sims, I, I will try to do a Sim and a regular uh, season game. Uh, in one day. Uh, I, I will do my best to try and do that. And then possibly we could be talking playoffs. I don't know. We're going to have to wait until uh, until that final game of the season, game 82, to see uh, to see where we sit, whether we've made it into, uh, into the playoffs. So the plan for the next 10 to 12 videos, uh, as I said, next episode I will be talking about uh, Team Canada. And then anything else that happens in the NHL I will talk about in subsequent videos. I might do one about Team USA as well. And also maybe just like an overview of the other teams uh, who I think uh, the outside chances are. Maybe some of the youngsters, you know, maybe like a Philip Forsberg for the Team Sweden. Something like that. So, yeah, I'm, good. I, it, I'm hoping I'm not going to struggle for anything to talk about. In terms of the NHL, hopefully something big happens. You never know. Uh, if not, then I'll just pick a team and uh, talk about their chances for next season. Another video which I'm planning on doing uh, in uh, one of the Real Deal episodes is more about who I watch on YouTube. Uh, I know I briefly, well not briefly, I, I basically did a whole episode about it. But um, I, I just basically told you guys um, who I watch why and but not really why I like to watch them as much uh, so hopefully I can, can get a video out about that I'm expecting that to be about episode maybe 20 25 26 I'm planning on doing that one 
And yeah, yeah. So uh, hopefully there'll be uh, be some cool videos to come in say the next uh, two weeks. Really, the next two weeks is when uh, when I'm hoping to have the have the regular season all uh, all out and on YouTube for you guys. And that's about it for today. I think, as you can see, Pascal Dupuy wants us to shoot out with that. Uh, oh well, he almost wants us to shoot out. And well, there you go. <laughs> and there's the win there. Uh, picked up for us. Why was that Thomas Wokou or Mark Andre Fleury? I couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, until next time, guys. I hope you had a good day, and I shall see you in the next video.